Hi, I'm here to make a complaint about an incident that happened to me not long ago. Sure. Can you tell me what happened? Well, I was walking home from work when a man approached me and snatched my purse. I tried to chase him down, but he got away. I see. Do you have any description of the suspect or any other details that could help us identify him? Yes, he was a tall man with a beard, wearing a black hoodie and jeans. He was carrying a backpack as well. Okay, thank you for the information. Did you see the direction he went in? Yes, he headed towards the park. That's just a few blocks away from here. All right. We'll send a team right away to investigate. Can I have your name and contact information, please? Sure, my name is Sarah, and here's my phone number. Thank you, Sarah. We will be in touch if we need any further information from you. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Yes, I'm really shaken up about this, and I hope the police can catch the person responsible. I understand how you feel, Sarah. We will do our best to investigate this and apprehend the suspect. Thank you for coming in and reporting this to us. Thank you for your help. Don't mention it. It's our duty to make sure our community is safe. So, what do you like to do in your free time? Any hobbies? Oh, I'm a pro at sitting on my couch and binge-watching Netflix. That's my main hobby. Ha, I can relate to that, but come on, there must be something else you like to do. Well, I'm also a big fan of staring aimlessly into the abyss and contemplating the meaning of life. Wow, that's deep. I usually just contemplate whether I should have pizza or Chinese food for dinner. Oh, pizza all the way. But seriously, I do enjoy going for walks and exploring new places. I also like to paint and play the guitar in my spare time. That's cool. I've always wanted to learn how to play the guitar, but I'm pretty sure my neighbors wouldn't appreciate my musical talents. Ha! I hear you. My neighbors always complain about my guitar playing, but I just tell them that my musical skill is at a level that they can't comprehend now. Well, if you ever need a backup singer, just let me know. I'm not very good, but I'm enthusiastic. Sounds like a plan. We can start our own band and become famous. Or, you know, just jam out in your living room. Hey, who knows? We could be the next big thing. But for now... Let's just stick to Netflix and pizza. Deal. So what's your favorite food? Do you have a secret recipe that you want to share? Oh, absolutely. My favorite food in the whole world is lasagna. It's a classic comfort food that never fails to make me happy. Yum, that sounds amazing. Do you make it from scratch or use a recipe? I actually have a family recipe that has been passed down for generations. It is a closely guarded secret, but I will make an exception and share it with you. Wow, I feel so honored. So what are the key ingredients that make your lasagna so special? Well, it starts with a rich and hearty tomato sauce, made from fresh tomatoes and a secret blend of herbs and spices. Then we layer it with noodles, a mix of three cheeses, and a generous amount of ground beef. My mouth is watering just thinking about it. How do you get the cheese to be so perfectly melted and gooey? Ah, uh, that's the secret technique. You have to bake it at just the right temperature for just the right amount of time until the cheese is golden and bubbly. But if you overdo it, you'll end up with a burnt mess. It's a delicate balance. Wow! You're like a lasagna master chef. I can't wait to try your recipe. 
Well, don't get your hopes up too much. It's not like I'm a Michelin-starred chef or anything. But I do take my lasagna very seriously. Hey, that's all that matters. Food is all about passion and enjoyment. And it sounds like you've got plenty of both when it comes to lasagna. You got that right. Lasagna is not just a food. It's a way of life. Hey, I heard there's a cool art exhibit opening up downtown this weekend. Want to come check it out with me? Absolutely. I love checking out new art. But just so you know, I have a tendency to get a little carried away with my critiques. Oh boy, I'm in for it now. Don't be too harsh on the artists, okay? Hey, I'm just giving my honest opinion. But I promise to keep it constructive. And if I really hate something, I will just pretend to be a statue until we move on to the next exhibit. Ah, uh, fair enough. It'll be fun to see what you think. And who knows, maybe we will discover some hidden gems. That's the spirit. And afterwards, we can grab some food and talk about our favorite pieces. Sounds perfect. I know a great cafe nearby that has the best pastries. And maybe we can even create our own art inspired by the exhibit. Now that's an idea. Who knows, maybe we will be the next big thing in the art world. You never know. But for now, let's just focus on having a fun and creative day out. <laughs>